right, and we are live. We're doing this. It's happening. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute, but life has happened. Happened, but here we are, and I am excited to be back doing videos again. And let's just hop into it. In this video, I'm just going to talk, give a brief summary about. Where we've been it's going to be very brief because i just don't want to go into detail and a brief video about brief discussion about what we've been doing as far as homeschooling so the first thing yes we are still homeschooling i did not make these videos and then just jump back well not jump back my kids have not been to an everyday school we're still homeschooling so that's exciting and let's see speaking of homeschooling they have started back into their school that's for homeschoolers if that makes any sense it's like a co-op so you know they get once or twice a week that they can do it and it's just a bunch of homeschoolers the schools keep our records and so we just give them what we're doing as far as curriculum and also the school provides a curriculum so they get best of both worlds and my kids love it because they got to they get to hang out with their friends and just get a break from the house and just be just be kids and i love it too because i mean not only do i get the little break that they're gone because this place, like I said, it's not like it's like a co-op, co but it's not a co-op because they keep the records, and then I don't have to be there at the building with them for the entire time. I don't have to teach a subject if I don't want to. I'm a parent, and I drop my kids off, and I say I will see you later, and I get back in my van and I go home until it's time to pick them up. But I love it because I get to meet other parents who are homeschoolers as well. So it's pretty cool. So that happened. Let's see. We bought a house and we bought a, we were actually, when I stopped doing the videos, that's around the time we were in the process of purchasing the house that we're in now. And it was a long process. It was a very stressful process. We are very blessed and we are very thankful for this house and for it going through. So that as you can tell different scenery in the background but um then my basic wall and my green couch which we still have that green little couch where is it it's in the garage doesn't matter um <laughs> and also we had another baby who is right here with us a little baby girl so yeah and then other things that like when they just hand you those cards you figure out which ones you want to play but um well you play with what you have and so yeah just different life things ups and downs but i'm back and i'm excited to be doing these videos again once again i am a mom stay-at-home mom who homeschools and with that being said you will hear my children they live here you're gonna hear them and I tried to make this video while they were playing outside, but for whatever reason, it just didn't work out. My, I, I did it and I completed it. And when I went to go back, it just didn't record right. Are you trying to see who I'm talking to? Are you trying to figure out why I'm talking to myself? Yeah, what's happening? So let's get into it. So what, we, um, what we're doing this year, so like I said, the school that they attend, they also offer a curriculum, but I'm not gonna go in too much into that. I'm just gonna focus on what we're doing at home. Starting with Saxon, because that is on the top of the pile here. This is five, four, well, the fourth grade level, I guess you call it, um, for my fourth grader. And I like it, I, I like this. I think, I think it's, it covers a lot. It covers a lot. It covers for everything that he needs to know. We are not done with this book yet, even though I'm making this video as though it's the end of the year. But um, I think it's a lot better than their, what do they have? Kindergarten to third or pre-K, whatever. The third grade level I just thought was very repetitive and just kind of like, okay, where are we going with this? 
and I didn't think they were getting enough, but this one, I think it's a good, it's good for him for right now. Will we do it next year? Probably. I think we will do it again. Um, we're not the same level for my fourth grader. Of course he'll do fifth grade, or can he do this? Oh, I gotta look into that. But we're definitely gonna do it for my third grader, grader who will be in fourth grade next year. So we'll be doing that again. So I do recommend Saxon Math. If you have a fourth grader, it's not super gentle. I don't think so. But um, I've also heard about other parents using teaching textbooks. Like that's been really helpful and really good. So I will definitely recommend that as well. And Horizon Math. I was gonna give Horizon Math a try, but at this point right now, I don't, If I do it, it's because I'm just trying to try something else. But this seems to be working for my son. Speaking of math, then we're going into third grade. This, I think my third grader is getting bored of this. But I keep telling him to hold on because now his work is starting to look like, come on, dude. Um, like I said, because it's very repetitive and you're just like, okay, where are we going with this? But it's good for... It's good for this season that we're in in our lives. And I'll get into that. Well, I'll just talk about it now. Um, it fit perfect since I, I already knew how Saxon was for third grade because at, my boys are third and fourth. So they're a year apart from each other. So I had an idea. And like I said, we had a lot of life going on. And then I was pregnant and more life happening. And so I didn't want to put too much stress on our homeschool life. And that's why I chose it again for him. <laughs> and sorry, I'm just rattling this toy for her. Come on. Yeah. And also too, I'm apologize in advance if my sound sounds a little wonky. It's because in our move, I could have sworn I packed the little cord that goes with my microphone, I know I packed it because that apartment was empty, but it got lost somewhere in the move. I don't know, maybe it's in a box or something somewhere, but um, so I don't have my microphone to this. So now we're gonna move. You wanna help mama? Yeah. What do you wanna say? Look, what do you have to say? What do you wanna say? Do you wanna say something? Oh, sweet baby. Okay, so, and I definitely have to make this quick because she's getting fussy. Hey, hello, 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 hello. Hello, hi, hello. So, and I gotta find you a bit. But, um, yes, yeah, so we have next up is Masterbooks. So this master books is the language lessons for a living education. I don't know why I just heard a door slam, but that's not good. I guess my voice, it's fine. But this master books, now master books, I am, it's very gentle. Master books is very gentle. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you want to sit on the couch next to mama? Okay. You want to get your Barbies? Yeah. Sorry, her hair is looking crazy. Like I said, they were outside playing with their water toys and everything. So she changed her clothes and put on her cat ears. Let's see. Will that help? Baby. Yeah, baby. Okay, get down so Mama can finish the video, okay? Finish videos. Yeah, finish videos. But, um. Hey, here you are, Mama. Here you are, Mama. Here you are, Mama. I don't know if she wants that. Don't shove it in her mouth. But, um, yeah. So, Master Books is, I would consider it very gentle, a very gentle approach. So, if you're looking for something like that, I would recommend it. I, at first, wasn't. <laughs> She's fine. Come on, my tablet. Come on, my tablet. Girl. I want my tablet. Nope. That sounds more like a demand. I want my tablet. Nope, we don't do demands. When you need something, you have to ask better than that. So, 
Yeah. Baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Then I'm gonna finish doing the video. Grab your Barbies and just sit down right there, okay? I'll get through this video. Girlfriend, they are right there. Oh, you want your sparkle one? Yeah. Yeah. I want the purple one. Oh, they're behind me. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. But um, what was I saying? Okay, yeah. Master Books is very gentle. A very gentle approach. And I had an issue with that in the beginning because I was like, man, my kids are just, when they were second and third grade, yeah. I was like, man, my kids are just breezing through this book and to the point where they can do it on their own. My third grader can still do it on his own. He, I mean, he asks for help if he needs something with um, spelling or just different punctuations or just every now and then he'll ask for help, but it's not a, it's very independent for him. So I love that. Now, you're probably wondering if I really didn't care for it the first time, why would I do it the second time? Well, like I said, life was happening. I was pregnant. The boys were starting their hybrid school again. And they do their own curriculum. Um, like they sent home a curriculum too. And I just wanted to be a... Um, are you okay? I just wanted to be a... Um, what do you call that? Okay, then go ask brothers for help. I just wanted to be a, um, sorry for all the interruptions. It's fine. What do you call that? I'm blanking out. I just wanted to be simple for us. I didn't want that much stress for us for the school year because I'm like super pregnant, newborn, going back to, you know, our routine of life and their school is not close. Uh, we ended up moving super far from where we used to live and so yeah that driving far for once a week it, it just became I was like let me make this easier on us as possible so I appreciate the the gentleness of that grammar book so and as you can see you probably don't see science or anything like that I'm not going to talk about that because the school helps cover that for us like they send home different science projects they can work on each week and different um, Bible like um, curriculum items we can do that what else do they send home social studies and art different things like that their language arts program well that's still under language arts not just grammar language arts that's what that is but um that masterworks pretty much covered all of that so yeah i wanted to keep it simple and then for my fourth grader we use skill sharpeners by evan moore grade four because once again this was gentle as well it was a good refresher it was a good add-on that's what i would call this so i wouldn't make this if you are looking for something um i would this is a good add-on for whatever you're doing i love this as an add-on for my fourth grader he does a lot at his school as well the kid has written so many papers it's unreal they use um what do you call it iew yes iew i hope i said it correctly iew why does that sound so wrong but that's what they use and i if i believe homeschoolers use that as well i definitely would recommend that it teaches a lot it it's a lot it, it's a lot it is a lot but I think um, his writing skills and everything like that, that falls under that category has definitely come a long way. It was a big difference between that and master books, if that makes any sense. So even if they weren't attending their hybrid school, um, I would still use it. I will still totally get IEW. So is that, is that it? Is that all of our books? Sounds like crazy town upstairs. Yep. So I'm gonna have to go upstairs in a minute. Yeah. 
she's going through it now. <laughs> and I'm gonna have to shut it down. So with that being said, that is it for this video. I know it was super short, super sweet. I didn't go into too much detail. Well, you know what? I will touch on this, what Masterbooks have. Um, with Masterbooks, sorry to do this at the ending part of the video. They do break down the different days, what to do, the different subjects for them. There is also a 101, 101, 101, 101 favorite stories from the Bible. That's a little book that's required to come with this so that it can help them do copy work and things like that. We have that book. I just forgot to grab it from their homeschool area. And then um, you can keep track. There's a record book of what you did that day and just kind of follow along. That's the same with the Saxon math. I do not use it in this book because as you can see, this book has been well loved and that page, I'm surprised it's still there because there are some pages missing out this book because my third grader loves his book so much. Oh, they're apologizing to each other. Okay, so they're peacefully playing now. But that is it for this video. I'm so excited to do videos again. Thank you for your patience and your love and those who follow me and know me in real life and know everything that's been going on. Thank you for your love and prayers and thoughts and well wishes and positivity and all that. And yeah, as far as this channel, I'm still going to try to focus on the heart of it, of homeschooling. Because, you know, we're out here. Us homeschoolers, we are out here, you know. And there's, I think people have this, what's the word I'm looking for? This misconception about what homeschooling is. Or they know that one homeschool family and they just put us all in a box. Why, why do people do that? That's like me. I mean, I wasn't a homeschooler. I, um, I was a public school kid growing up. And that's like me saying, oh, remember that one kid that was... Like X, Y, and Z, that must be what all public school kids are like. No, but we're out here and we're just sharing our life. Yeah, you are. What time is it? Okay. I'm hungry. I'm hungry to eat. I'll have the ice. You want ice? Yeah. You're hungry and you want ice? Cause that's so I hear you stinkers over? on the stairs. Is your video over? Nope. I could see somebody's head on the video too. I was about to end it, but I'm curious to see how you guys are gonna come down these stairs. Let's see. Don't go sneaking up the stairs now. Sophia's already in the camera, her and her Barbies. You don't have to hide. They can still hear you and see the peak of you. You can come out of hiding if you would like. <laughs> this is my world. So I'm going to feed a child ice because she's so hungry. The other two, they are big enough to get their own snacks. Right? Right. And so that's a baby pressing. Thank you. So yeah, so the heart of this channel. What is happening here? Yes. So I'm going to go back to, you know, trying to keep it majority of homeschooling, you know, like day in the life and things like that. Let's see, their hybrid school is almost over, but we are year-round homeschoolers regardless. We tried to do a break one summer and that, no, I'm not doing that again. I like going year-round, so. And we do breaks in between, like a week off here, two weeks off there, so it's fine. But yeah, so I'm gonna try to keep it that way. And yeah, okay, this video is going super long. We're at the 20 minute mark almost. So I'm gonna get off of here. Super excited, super excited to share other things with you when I figure out what direction I wanna go in. And now I have a sleepy baby, so I'm gonna let my kids eat ice. <laughs> Fill up their bellies. 
and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.